Alrighty, uh, if you guys are watching this, cool. Thanks for tuning in. Um, I am pretty good at Super Mario World, Super Mario Brothers in general. Um, but I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos lately on um, some super expert Mario Maker levels. And my mind has just been blown by how difficult these levels are and yet how good some of the players are at these levels. So we're going to do some training before Mario Maker 2 comes out. And I guess this is a really popular uh, Kaizo tool. If you don't know what Kaizo is, you can just look it up. But basically... It's all the uh, same game physics of Super Mario World, um, <clears throat> but it's just added a crazy level of uh, skill and precision, I guess, to the platforming. Oh, it's so good when it hits your lips. Um, so it's first thing in the morning, that is my first cup of coffee, and I decided to punish myself. So we're going to dive in now to Panga's Kaizo Kindergarten for beginners. I have not played this before, so we'll see how brutal this is, but I'm probably going to die a lot. If you guys have fun with that, um, like if you like, subscribe if you really like, and hit the bell if you really, really ridiculously like. Disclaimer, this tutorial hack only covers mechanics of vanilla, boring Super Mario World. Note that custom hacks can, at any time, change the physics of the game. Please consult the README of any hack. If they did not include a README, they should be banned from making hacks. Okay, this guy's got a bit, bit of a sense of humor, that's cool. Warning, this hack contains trolls, which may not be suitable for tilted gamers. Player discretion is advised. All right, I like this already. Um, all right, cool. Jump heights, level one. Uh, just before we dive in, I'm aware that my video is out of sync, and that's totally fine because whatever, just don't look at my face. Oh, this coffee's so good. Um, it is just me today, although I do have a player two sitting here in my co-pilot seat. So, Zoolander is my player two today. Let's do it. Jump heights, level one. Uh, this level teaches you about vertical speed mechanics. The faster you move, the higher you will jump. Okay, so this, as far as I believe, is not a mod uh, for game physics. It entirely works within the game physics of the Super Nintendo Mario Brothers. But it just gives you a training course, basically. Uh, you can clear four tiles with a spin jump without running speed. Okay, it's been a while. What's the spin jump? That's a spin jump. Okay. You can clear four tiles with a spin jump without running speed. Okay, there we go. You can clear five tiles with a normal jump without running speed. Come on. Oh, I got it. Please do not put six tile jumps in a level. It is possible with a running normal speed jump all right let's get ahead of steam here arms out mario <laughs> oh. okay there we go there we go oh i made it <sighs> baby you know the door would be the hardest part of the level you can clear five tiles while bouncing off enemies All right, bouncing off enemies. There we go. Okay, fair enough. You guys like my Adenac t-shirt? Hold either jump button to fall slightly slower. Jump button to fall slightly slower. 
Okay. That was not right. I'm gonna die a lot. Um, well, I thought you could just run straight across one gap jumps. If you hold the run button, you're supposed to be able to clear it. No? There we go. Okay, I'm gonna hold the run button and one of the jump buttons and see if that makes this work just really well. So as you can see up in the, the top corner there, it's actually showing what buttons I'm pressing on my controller. Um, so Y would be run, X is run, B is regular jump, and A is spin jump. And then obviously directions for moving in directions. Uh, ba -bum -bum -bum. So let's try run and holding jump and see if that just clears. Okay, so that clears way nicer. Cool. Muncher death already. Good stuff. So this is going to be just running. So I kind of make it. Oh, but it's not 100% successful. And it is kind of clunky even when it is successful. Okay. But we do run and jump as they suggest that's like no problem frick okay um, so this hack is available for emulators if you guys have a computer you know what emulators are you can go find it uh, I might link to it in the description I might not because I'll probably get some sort of copyright file against Nintendo so that's cool yeah it works really well um, what I will say is the controller that I'm using, I'm playing on my Mac. Um, I'm using the SN30 Pro controller by 8-Bit Do, 8-Bit Do, which looks just like a Super Nintendo controller. Obviously it's wireless and it's got uh, two trigger buttons on each side instead of just the one, as well as it's got the dual joysticks, okay? So, but otherwise it's like awesome. I love this controller. Works for computer, Windows, PC, uh, works great on my Nintendo Switch. I love it. Okay, what is the dis the instructions I'm supposed to be reading here? Let go of jump to fall faster. Okay. So, but I'm gonna hold jump and see how slow I go. Okay, so I definitely wouldn't make it under the spinies there if I let go. I didn't make it either. Okay, what do I gotta do here? Nope, that's too fast. Gotta fall under them and oh, come on. Okay, I'm gonna hold run while I do it. Nope. Cool, cool, cool. Cue the death montage. Get it, get it, girl. Mmm, baby, that deserves a drink of coffee. Someone in the comment section down below is probably going to count how many sips of coffee I take. Uh, you fall faster when normally... You fall faster when walking off layer 2 blocks. Okay, so the gold one is a layer 2 block. As you can see, Mario's head is in front of the blue one. And behind the gold one, okay? So, yeah, if I walk off the blue one, it's normal. If I walk off this, boom, it like really pulls me down. Okay, well that was an easy level to test out. Man, I'm so good at this game. Congratulations, you beat the level. To try this level again, enter the door. <sighs> I'm good. Oh, and we got a nice little picture of Elon Musk, the Tesla guy. I don't know. Okay, that's neat. Continue and save, sure. P meter, this is my P meter. I've been measuring my P meter since I was in grade school. This level teaches you about horizontal speed mechanics. In Super Mario World, your horizontal speed always varies. And you can see up in the corner there, I've got indicators for my X speed and my Y speed. So it's minus when I go left, it's positive when I go right. Okay, what do we got here? Walking speed. Only holding right 
running speed, holding Y and right, P speed, P speed, running speed when P meter is full. P meter increases while running and decreases while not. Okay, so it looks like I max out at like 48. Yeah, the max speed while walking, 19 to 20, while running, I mean 35, yeah. Okay, yeah, you can see, so it's like walk, run, and then when he puts his arms out, P speed, baby. All right, cool. To get P speed, P meter must be filled completely from zero to 112. P meter, okay. P meter increases by two per frame and decreases by one when not. Once P meter is filled, it stays at 112. Man, this is like an algebra crap. Algebra class. That is a tough one to say. Algebra class. I can't do it. All right, note. You can only build P meter when on ground, unless you are T posing. What is T posing? Only build P meter when on ground, unless you are T posing. Is that a T? That must be T pose. Okay, like, whee! Only build P meter when on ground unless you are T posing. So if I am not in the ground, boom, you can run P meter when running back and forth in small areas. So you see I'm charging it here. Woo! Oh, that's pretty cool. I didn't know you could do that. What do you think, Derek? You can also build P meter when jumping back and forth. Oh boy. Okay, so I gotta hold Y. What? That was not working at all. Build P meter when jumping back and forth. This is gonna be a tr oh my gosh. Also build P meter when jumping back and forth. Okay. 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 So I see that I'm building P meter. I kind of expected it to uh, continue to add, like when I was running back and forth in that space. It doesn't look like it does because it looks like as soon as I take off. I build it up and then it goes back down as soon as I leave the ground so maybe that isn't what I meant to do maybe it's just saying that like it's building somewhat oh, okay I'm gonna try running spin jump I'm gonna try running straight off the ground until I die Jumping back and forth. Man, what are we talking about here? Oh, you know what? If I do a shorter jump, I seem to land maybe before. Okay. Okay, so I gotta like run out, get full distance on my jump, and then turn back. I guess. This is a nightmare. Oh my god! Why did I decide to do this? Okay, let's build up some P meter, baby. Impress those ladies. Get them arms out, buddy. <sighs> so this is my single weekend. My daughter's at her mother's. My wife is at a bachelorette party. And I'm spending the week dying.
in Super Mario World. Oh man, am I gonna get to beat this level or am I gonna be stuck here? Do you guys want to see me just keep dying at this level until I get it or should I edit this next time? Die a few times, edit out the 700 other deaths and then just cut in the one where I finally make it or are you guys having fun watching me suffer? Build up that P-meter. Here we go. We got it this time. Okay. I gotta get the timing of that jump better. Okay, how far over can I go before I fall off that cliff? Yeah, okay, so that's... That's the limit. We're gonna max this out. Okay, that's my max. I'm gonna... Just, I'm just gonna go full hard to the right, spin jump, and try and hit that spiny shell. <clears throat> Let's go this way. This way. Oh, I'm not getting my timing on that jump at all. Okay. P meter, baby. I knew, as soon as I left, I'm like, oh, I'm way too far, I'm not getting back. made that. No, I didn't. Oh. To be honest, I kind of thought I built, I'd be like the first whole like world area and that would be like episode one. But now I'm thinking if I can get this one, if I can complete this friggin jump. Oh. That'll be the finale for this episode. Because I need another cup of coffee. And I think we're going to go in coffee cup increments. Okay, so like 20 minutes an episode, I think. By the time I'm... Okay, here we go. Holy, was this ever a bad idea. What am I doing wrong? There might be someone who like happens across this who like is a Kaizo expert and they'll be like, oh, you idiot, your, your timing is all off or you gotta release this button or you gotta press this one way quicker. Okay, so it's telling me A. How high do I need my, I feel like I need my P meter to the point where I'm like arms out and then I can make that jump. Okay, so let's go. Oh, you got, look at my P meter, 112. I could have done that. I just needed to end it with a spin jump. Okay, so what was I doing there? You guys, my P-meter is building up. Okay. Problem is, is I would rather hold Y to run. It's more comfortable for me, especially when I'm just doing my, my B jumps. But I need, I know I need to spin. Oh, if I had a spun jump, I would have got off that spiny shell. But I gotta press A to spin jump. So I need to be really be pressing X. Yeah, and you'd be pressing X to run because that's way easier than this move. Okay, so we're gonna run with X. Oh, guys, my P meter was 80. That was for sure. Okay, I got this. We got this. We got this. I'm sorry if I get this on this attempt, I might freak out. So if the video just ends, it's because I flip the table, Charty McDennis. Here we go. <laughs> At least we didn't have to worry about a big celebration. If you 
guys are wondering what I'm looking at, because I'm clearly not looking at the camera. I'm looking at... Okay, hold on. You guys, I got my arms out there. I got my arms out. I was ready for my pee fucking switch. Oh. So what I'm looking at is, I'm looking at myself on the screen, not at the camera. So, whatever. Deal with it. <sighs> I need coffee. Yeah, let me know what you guys are thinking of this. I don't know. Should I keep going with this? I'm definitely going to keep going with this Kaizo training. But I don't know. Oh, man. My P meter is 112. I had too much momentum going the wrong way. I'm going to keep going with this training, but I don't know if I should bother uploading this or not. Man, I I get in my own head and I miss time that last jump when I'm ready to leave. <sighs> I get too excited when I see his little tiny arms go up. T-posing is what they called it. So for this, you don't want to do a big full jump because you do lose your P meter. If you do, if you do like a long press on either jump, you lose all your P meter. So see how high I come with my regular jump, right? Just to like the top of the arrow. And if I hold it, I go way higher. And by the time I land, I've lost all my P meter. So that's what I gotta do is I gotta short hop while I'm going back and forth. And then on my last one, I got a long hop, so I get that extra height, the extra distance. And that's where I think my panic comes in as I was like, okay, now it's time. And then I do a long, a long hop, and I think the timing is just a little bit different. Oh, I chunked it. Oh, you guys see that? He T-posed. And I was going the wrong way, so maybe I should just start this way. Nope. My thumb hurts on my D-pad already. What? I didn't even need the spin jump off the shell. I just fucking cleared that thing. Sorry for swearing. Woo! Please be the end of the level. All right, well, it doesn't matter because I'm a superstar at this now. I was really hoping I'd get that on the first try. I was, I was really hoping. How about you, Mr. Zoolander? I got turn left. Okay, cool. We got this, we got this, we got this. Boop. Cleared it again, second try. Frick, I'm so good at this game. Jeepers creepers. P meter does not decrease when climbing on vines. Okay. I can't see where I'm going. Mm. So I want to see if P meter, if I stay on a vine, if it just freezes where it's at. Whoop. Okay, so it stayed there at 109, so that's cool. Okay. So I jump, my P meter's not quite full, I land on a vine, get up and keep going, and it picks up right where it left off. So that's definitely good to know. Oh, I gotta press up and actually catch the vine. I just fucking flew right past it. Nope. Why did I do that so easy the first time? Baby! 
I didn't read that one. It says P meter does not decrease when you're swimming because clearly it's still at 112. There's the door! Hodor's waiting for me. He's holding that door. Oh, good save. Baby! Baby, swim, baby! Oh, shoot. So as soon as you leave the water, it starts to decrease. So I can't hop out of the water and land back in like a noob. I gotta make that one fluid motion, no pun intended. Get it? Because water's a fluid. What did I do there? I don't like that. Man, that fluid pun though. Why am I freaking losing my pee meter all of a sudden? What am I doing wrong? What? Again? What's going on? I don't like this anymore! Okay. Cool it. Cool it. You guys, I don't know if you know this. But my wife is at a bachelorette party. And she stayed up all night in the hot tub with the bride. So that's cool. You know what that means. I love lamp! No! Okay, I think I gotta land at the front of that piece of grass. Oh, that double hop killed me! I'm distracted by thoughts of my wife in the hot tub with the bride-to-be, getting all bachelorette party weird. No! I lost it again. I'm sure nothing happened in the hot tub. But also, I'm pretty sure something happened. Okay. I think I did all right, but I didn't jump. You gotta press up to get out of the water. Like if I'm just pressing forward, I won't uh, get out of the. I won't get out of the water. The shadows behind me are freaking me out. Home invasion! Oh, I cleared those vines. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. See, if I just jump right now, I'm pressing right. It won't get out of the water. Oh, that was good. That would have been enough. That would have been enough if I had jumped in time. Okay, let's do this nice and smooth, and then flip the table. Okay, here we go, guys. Final try. Miss the vines. I was just kidding with that final try thing. I'm still going. Walking off ledges decreases P meter, okay? This is a trap. Walking off ledges decreases P meter. Okay, let's let's try walking off. Hmm. That was stupid. I'm gonna jump to the next one. Okay, P meter. Yeah, drop. Drop, okay. So what am I supposed to do? meter resets when entering pipes in the door. So, walking off light just decreases P meter. Resets when entering. Okay, so I'm at 33. Let's see if that's correct. Yeah. Congratulations, you beat the level. Alright, Elon Musk is proud of me. But, uh, yeah, we're going to call it quits there. I'm going to get another coffee. And maybe we'll see you on the next episode.
thanks for checking it out. And again, like if you like, subscribe if you really like, and hit the bell for notifications if you really, really ridiculously like. Um, yeah. Anybody in the whole world actually made it this far? Cool. Thanks. And yeah, we'll see you on the next one.